Hi, this is Leslie. Hope you're well and welcome to another update on Bitcoin. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you one of the most shocking facts about Bitcoin and actually most charts, not just Bitcoin, but a shocking fact that could potentially horrify some of our audience who are watching this video today. All right, guys, before I start and talk about Bitcoin, let me just say a few things. Uh, you might have noticed that I look a bit like a college professor. The reason is a few days ago I was uh, walking in a shopping mall and I happened to notice these really nice and beautiful uh, tweed jackets. And I thought to myself, you know what? I am middle-aged. I've got gray hair growing now in my hair. And I've never worn tweed in my life. I've never worn a tweed jacket in my entire life. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe it's time to try a new thing. So that's what I'm doing right now. This is my first time, guys. My first time ever wearing a tweed jacket. And by the way, guys, there's no way you can wear tweed and not do an impression of an old upper class English gentleman who is disgusted by your taste in music. So let's see how I do. I say, good sir, have you no decency? I don't know. I can't do the impression really well, but I do know the man who can. Have you no decency, sir? Thanks, Kyle. All right, guys, let's get back to Bitcoin. So as far as Bitcoin is concerned, we've had a very beautiful rally so far in Bitcoin, as you can see there on that chart behind me. And actually today, as I'm making this video, we hit the 10,000 level. We haven't yet reached our second target yet. As I mentioned before in my previous video, our second wave three target was 10,200. We haven't yet reached it as I'm making this video. We might reach that level 10,200 perhaps by the end of today or maybe tomorrow or this week. Bottom line is, guys, that I think we're very close to reaching our uh, next wave three targets. In fact, Bitcoin is up now about 2,400 points since we called it a bottom for Bitcoin and got bullish on Bitcoin uh, some weeks ago when Bitcoin was about 7,700. So, so far, Bitcoin's rally has been beautiful. But here's the thing, guys. Many folks have been left on the sidelines. Many folks have missed this move for one important reason. And I'm going to talk to you about it today because it seems to me that a lot of folks who follow chart analysis on Bitcoin and actually most other charts, not just Bitcoin, but other markets too, they seem to hold a very strong belief about something which actually may not turn out to be true. So let me tell you more about that. Many textbooks on technical analysis and many articles and uh, you know seminars and again, you name it, many of these uh, textbooks and articles tell people, or probably tell you that apart from price, price action, you should also pay attention to volume. So again, a lot of people, it seems, do put a lot of emphasis and focus on, you know, the volume on Bitcoin. And as you probably noticed, I don't. In fact, I hardly ever use volume on my charts. There are occasions when I may look at the volume and compare it to the price action, but it's very rare. So it doesn't really feature in my main analysis. Uh, but again, there are many people out there, perhaps uh, some of you who are watching this video. And again, many books, uh, textbooks and articles about technical analysis that tell you that volume must confirm the price on rally, especially when they say, for example, when Bitcoin or any market, any price is rallying, they say, well, volume also has to go up. Volume has to increase to confirm the price action, confirm the rally. Now, I have to tell you guys, in my own personal experience, I've not found this to be true. And actually, there's research to back this up. Some years ago, you might remember, I did a webinar on technical analysis, and I mentioned one of the key mistakes that people often make when it comes to technicals is they focus a lot on volume. And in fact, there is research done by Jason Geppert of Sentiment Trader who found that some many rallies, he found that many rallies can actually start on below average volume, on weak volume. So uh, again, his uh, analysis showed that you can have rallies starting up, going up 10%, 18% in the markets on low volume, again, on below average volume. Now, again, his research was in the context of the stock market, the S&P. But in my own research as well, having looked at several key charts of Bitcoin, I found that there are examples of Bitcoin rallies starting, Bitcoin uptrends starting on low volume, below average volume. I'll show an example here for you. As you can see here, uh, again, these rallies started on below average volume. So I personally, for that reason, I don't really care that much about volume analysis when it comes to Bitcoin rallies. And I found that if you focus too much on volume to confirm the price action and it doesn't confirm, then you might actually miss the initial uh, upward rally, the initial surge uh, or the start of the uptrend uh, in Bitcoin. In fact, most charts as well, not just Bitcoin, but also stock markets too. And in fact, uh, what I use on my charts is not just volume on its own, but I also use a moving average on the volume. So I use two things. For example, I use a 50 simple moving average like you see here on this chart. And I look to see if the volume is going above its 50 simple moving average. 
as the price is going up. So again, I look to see if the volume is breaking its 50 moving average to show it's above average volume or below average volume. So that's one way I might use it. The second thing I use is on balance volume or OBV, as you can see here in my chart. OBV is essentially this indicator, which you can get on most charts, by the way. And all you do is you put the OBV on balance volume on your chart and you look to see if when the price is rising, is the OBV also rising and moving above its 21 moving average. So what I like to do is put a 21 moving average on top of the on balance volume yeah, that's the blue line you see right there. And I want to see if the on balance volume can go above its 21 uh, daily moving average as the price is rising. All right, guys. So that is another way you can actually look to see if volume is confirming the price action. So as you can see here, uh, when Bitcoin was rallying higher, in fact, here's something I found. I found that as Bitcoin was going up, Volume was also increasing. In fact, it is not true at all that volume was not confirming the price action. I actually think it's the opposite. Volume was actually confirming the price action. As price was going up on Bitcoin in January, and we saw that volume actually was also increasing, as you can see there. It was also moving above its 50 simple moving averages, above average volume. And also notice the OBV was also above its 21 daily moving average and also making higher lows, higher highs. It was certainly increasing, as we saw there. The OBV was showing signs of strength. So again, higher lows and higher highs, as you can see there on the chart. So guys, the shocking truth, which many folks probably are not aware, is that the importance of volume and analysis or confirming an uptrend or rally is perhaps over-exaggerated. And it's not your fault, guys. It's because many textbooks and articles and you know so-called experts keep talking about, banging on about volume. Oh, volume has to go up as well, confirm the price action. No, it doesn't. The research does not back it up. The research does not actually show that you need to have strong, uh, above average volume to confirm a price action. So for me personally, instead of volume, I like to look at other factors. For example, for me, I like to look at price action, whether price is breaking above resistance, breaking below support, another thing. So looking at support resistance, looking at key levels, uh, looking at uh, moving averages, whether it's above a key moving average, looking at Elliott waves, again, a very important leading indicator, uh, looking at momentum. Momentum is also very important. So for me, those are the key factors I look at, but volume is not one of them. But look, guys, if volume is something you like to look at, if it's something that's part of your analysis, fine, look at it. But all I'm saying is it should not be a make or break indicator or something that has to definitely confirm the price action in order to make a decision or proper analysis. Uh, again, uh, the research and most statistics seems to show that volume is not always a very reliable indicator. It doesn't have to confirm a rally. In fact, if you've been, again, if many people have been left on the sidelines, uh, not catching this rally in Bitcoin simply because of the fact they thought that volume was not confirming the price action. But as you can see here, guys, I actually think it's the opposite. Volume was confirming the price action. It was confirming this rally higher in Bitcoin. Anyway, so there it is. And let me know your opinion too. Guys, before I finish the video, let me just say this. If ever anybody tells you that Bitcoin is going to go to zero, the only proper response should be this. I beg your pardon. Have you no sense of decency? Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do the impression. See you in the next video. Have you no sense of decency, sir? Have you no decency, sir? Yes? Y'all all vote for me now, because I have decency. Yeah.